Hello and a warm welcome with me, Lee Anthony Davis, here on my YouTube channel for part four of my Super Doctor Who quiz. I know it's in, uh, a bit late in coming, but I have had a, a few problems on the uh, Facebook area, which I'm not going to go into. So anyway, uh, so today I'll be doing questions 61 to 80. I know I gave 23 uh, on my last uh, Doctor Who Super Quiz, which was a couple of days ago. So I'm going to get straight into it. So if you've got a pen and paper handy, we'll get started right away. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I've got 150 groups out there. And uh, if you want to join them, by all means, you'll, warm, uh, it'll be, you'll get a warm welcome from me anyway. And uh, all the members that have joined. And also, uh, I've also got to tell you this. I'm, uh, I've done the exams. I'm just waiting for the certificates to come through. Uh, that's on maths, English and computers. Uh, that is t uh, one of my resolutions to pass those three exams. And when I get the certificates, I'll certainly show you on here. Uh, also, I'll be doing another uh, uh, superhero uh, calendar very shortly. Uh, Batman, I think I'll do. Uh, that's coming up later. And also, uh, I've got other things in the fire I'll tell you about on the next video. So anyway, let's get on with it. That should have been enough time for you to get a pen and paper. 20 questions. This is part four of the Super Doctor Who quiz. Here we go. Right, question one. What actually connects these uh, these things together? What is the actual... Uh, what actually... <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? What actually connects these these things together a stolen spaceship some nuns who teach martial arts a type of spearmint and a creature uh, that hilariously should never be trusted with a pen uh, what's that <laughs> I can't read me right pen a pen gosto stick <laughs> I think that's what it is so there you go what links them all together Right, question two. A machine for the conversion and transmission of energy, a rocket controlled by a robot, a group of old age pensioners and Jack's description of Graham. What links them all? Question three. What links these? A tour guide, an alchemist's daughter, an isolated uh, monstrous, uh, monstrosity, sorry, and an uh, earth uh, erstwhile lady. An erstwhile lady. What links all those together? Question four. What links this uh, together? Horror of Fang Rock, The Beast Below, and The Haunting of Villa D. I've never really uh, got around Chris Chibnall's uh, sort of titles he calls his, uh, <laughs> his episodes. But here we go. I'll try again. Uh, this this like I think you know the one I'm talking about. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat the question. What links the horror fang rock, the beast below, and the haunting of Villa uh, Diodati, or something like that, and no others? Uh, night terrors and closing time are close, but don't count. So if you knew that, uh, it doesn't connect these to the answer that I'm looking for. Right, so question four. Uh, sorry, question five. Madagascar, a suite on a galaxy class ship, tranquility spa, if all had gone to plan, and Morocco, if all had gone to plan. What links all this together? Right, question six. Hankins, Han, uh, is it Hakim's, sorry, Hakim's instruction to Alexa, a knight in Gabriel's chases, uh, according to the doctor, Winston Churchill's hand weapon of choice and the very first word of the Stones of Blood Part 2. So I'll get looking at your DVDs on the Tom Baker episode. The first word uh, will link all these together. Right, question 7. An, uh, an interplanetary spaceman on a mission a missing astronaut and a rude man on the telephone. What links them all together? Question eight. Daniel Barton, Walter Simeon, uh, an army captain, a storeholder and a censorite. What links them all together? Question nine. What links all these together? A nurse fleeing from the cyber wars, 
the sister of a medical student and an accused, uh, sorry, an accursed pirate. Finally, question 10 on this section. What paradox do Astrid Perth, Astrid Peth, and C have in common? That's uh, the, the character that was played by Carly Minogue in Voyage of the Dam, by the way. What links, what paradox do Astrid Peth and C have in common? C, as you know, was played by Stephen, oh, I forgot his name now. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, right, question 11. This is a new section. Uh, what I want to know is what landmark the Doctor visited for the first time since the City of Death. This is uh, the Jodie Whittaker uh, adventures, by the way. So uh, if you've watched the Jodie Whittaker ones, you'll probably get the answers. So I'm going to do uh, say that question again. What landmark... Uh, did the Doctor visit for the first time since the City of Death? Question 12. What weapon was used for the first time since the Mark of the Rani? Question 13. What cyber weakness was mentioned for the first time since Nightmare in Silver? Question 14. Which indigenous race was mentioned for the first time since the Deadly Assassin? Question 15. Which character was mentioned for the first time since The Five Doctors? Question 16. Which character was mentioned for the first time since The Celestial Toymaker? Question 17. Which historical figure did the Doctor mention for the first time since The Vampires of Venice and then meet a few stories later? Question 18. Which literally... Ca li li literally? I mean, well, it is literally, isn't it, with the way I'm bloody uh, pronouncing these uh, words... But I'll say it again. Which literary character was mentioned for the first time since extremis or extremis or ex or excrement, as I like to call it, extremis, extremis. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's another Chibnall adventure. Uh, I'll repeat that one again. Which literary character was mentioned for the first time since extremis, extremis? <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Extremis, I think it is. Uh, question 19. Uh, which literary character was mentioned for the first time since the Terror of the Autumns, although the character's creation was glimpsed in the 1966 television movie? And finally, we get down to question 20. Here we go. Which literary character was mentioned whose sidekick had been mentioned in Fear Her? Right, that's all you're getting. Uh, that's question 61 to 20, uh, 61 to 80. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll give you the answers at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So join me for that. And then at 10 o'clock, or 9 o'clock, sorry, will be the final part of my Super Doctor Who quiz. So join me for that. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, what's left of it. And I'll see you at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Bye for now.